hi students how are you i hope you are doing well um last time you have uh, written the comments that uh, you need the explanation of the chapter number 6 so let's start the reading and explanation the topic is environment and feeding relationship so environment is the surrounding of a living thing where uh, animal or plant or living organisms they all live and the feeding relationship means that uh, all the living organisms uh, for their food they depend upon each other so uh, this is the relationship what they made and the food chain and food web is uh, needed uh, so that they can get the food for their survival so the our first this is these are the basic facts uh, uh, we can read uh, that is from all over the ch chapter and habitat habitat uh, a habitat is a place where a group of organisms can live pond stream rock pools and uh, uh, compost uh, heap or rotten um, uh, rotting logs are the habitat सो हैबिटाट बच्चों उस जगह को कहते हैं या मस्कन को कहते हैं जहाँ पर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स रहते हैं फॉर दिस सर्वाइवर जो कि कुछ पानी में रहते हैं कुछ खुश्की पर रहते हैं कुछ डेजर्ट में रहते हैं कुछ पॉन्ड्स में रहते हैं और इसी तरह से रोटिंग लॉग्स यू कैन सी द रोटिंग लॉग्स इन द पिक्चर सो दिस इज़ द रोटिंग लॉग्स है सम हर्ब्स आर देयर सो द स्मॉल इंसेक्ट्स इंसेक्ट्स दे कैन सर्वाइव ओवर देयर so uh, the large habitat like the forest mountains and the deserts are made up of the smaller habitat so each type of tree in a forest is a separate habitat and the carpet of the leaves on the uh, forest floor is another in a simple term a habitat is a place where uh, organisms can feed uh, shelter and reproduce so the habitat is uh, a place where the organisms they can uh, achieve the food and they can live over there and they can reproduce for the further generation in a park or the large garden there can be the number of habitats a large tree provides the food for earthworms uh, wood lice and the other soil based animals that feed on the dead leaves under the tree so uh, every uh, living organism that depend upon another living organism for their uh, for their food mosses and uh, lichens and the sometimes the ferns and they can grow on the trunk of the tree and the tree provides the shelter as well as possibly uh, nesting uh, sites for the birds so uh, birds can uh, uh, sit on the uh, sides of the tree so birds eat the insects and the other animals that feed on the leaves and the flower of the tree on which use the crevices in its bark for shelter so uh, so these uh, uh, flowers or uh, uh, these uh, animals they are interacted with the trees and leaves and uh, these are the narrow holes uh, cre uh, crevices these are the narrow holes parks in the shelters over there so next topic is adaptation to habitats स्टूडेंट्स एडेप्टेशन से मुरादी है कि जब कोई भी लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म जो है एनिमल हो सकता है या कोई भी जो है वो लिविंग क्रिएचर जो है वो रहता है अपने हैबिटाट में अपने शेल्टर में तो उसको अपने बॉडीज़ में अपने फिज़िकल फीचर्स में कुछ इस तरह की एडेप्टेशन करनी पड़ती हैं जिस तरह जिससे कि वो उसका सर्वाइवल पॉसिबल हो जाता है और वो वहाँ पर रहने लगता है जिस तरह से फिश है वो पानी में रहती है तो वो गिल्स के थ्रू जो है वो सांस लेती है इस तरह से बहुत सारे इस तरह के जानवर हैं जो के जिस भी हैबिटाट में जिस भी शेल्टर में रहते हैं उनकी हैबिट्स उनकी जो बॉडी स्ट्रक्चर है वो उसको सूट करता है फॉर द लिविंग थिंग्स टू बी एबल टू लिव सक्सेसफुली इन अ हैबिटाट दे ओफन नीड टू अडेप्ट टू देर हैबिटाट सो अडेप्टेशन से मना दिया है कि वो उनकी हरकत सकनात और उनके जो बॉडी के की जो एक्शंस है मूवमेंट्स है दे आर अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर लिविंग प्लेस एंड दिस एडेप्टेशन टेक्स प्लेस ओवर द काउंटलेस जनरेशन प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स दैट हैड द यूजफुल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स व्हिच इन देयर टर्न हेल्प देम टू सर्वाइव रिप्रोड्यूस एंड सो पास्ड ऑन दीज यूजफुल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स टू देयर यंग वंस सो दिस काइंड ऑफ 
characteristics they can also um, uh, transfer to their another generation because uh, some people they are living in a cold areas and sometimes some people they are living in a uh, very hot climate but um, uh, they have uh, they use the same kind of uh, uh, light clothes and also they use the eating habits uh, uh, to survive in the hot climate for example if an animal living on in uh, on a tree is a green in color so it will have a better chance at survival because of its natural camouflage and it can uh, go on reproducing and pass on its distinct uh, characteristics to its young for another generation at least so here they have given few examples uh, this is the example of uh, moles so you can see students the picture of the mole here you can study the characteristics they have a good sense of smell and they have the extra large uh, front feet and the sharp claws so they can uh, they are living in a hole they are living in a underground so uh, so the uh, these type of uh, animals they they have the uh, body shape like this so another example is the polar bear the polar bear has the white fur on uh, white skin uh, and so so it's uh, very helpful to avoid the predators predators who can uh, sometimes they attack so the in a um, snowy areas this polar bear, bear uh, they can survive and they have some qualities you can also read like this and another example is the about the fish and the um, uh, fins to help it to swim through the uh, water so uh, the body of the fish it has the fins gills so it can absorb the oxygen so that is very helpful for it okay so uh, here uh, another example is uh, regarding the cactus cactus is adapting to the to living in hot dry desert condition so it has the long spreading root to find the water below the ground so the, uh, the other characters uh, characteristics of the uh, cactus plants has been written over there so you can go through it so regarding these topics i have prepared some short questions so let's go through it this is chapter number 6 questions are what is habitat a habitat is any place where a group of organisms can live pond stream rock pools forest deserts air and the small habitat what is the difference between an organism's habitat and its environment habitat is the natural home of an organism where an environment is the surrounding of living thing what is an ecosystem give the three examples of an ecosystem an ecosystem is all living things and their physical environment including air water and temperature and the soil conditions in a particular place desert seashores and the grasslands are the three examples of ecosystem what do all the animals need to survive so all animals need food and habitat to survive and all animals in a habitat depend upon one another for food shelter and the protection so there is another question uh, what does the word adopt adapted mean if an animal is adapted to its habitat what does it mean as we have read about the adaptation so living things need to adapt to their habitat for example living things must adapt to be able to live for example an uh, animal living in on a tree is a green in color so it will have the better chance at the survival moles have the sense of smell and the large front feet and the sharp claws to survive in a underground environment so uh, students i have done the question answer five question answers that is um, at the end of your chapter so this was the first topic i have started so that was the page number 56 so uh, next time i will do the uh, another explanation um, competition and um, another topic so uh, try to go through it and uh, try to note down the question answers and uh, have a great day today goodbye